All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Gloria Pope here with Black Girl Everything, and I'm here with the lovely Kimberly. Hi, everybody. Now, Kimberly should be honored today. Want to know why? Why? Because you are my first Black Girl Everything interview in the city of Atlanta. Wow, yes, I'm honored. I'm so honored because this is the beginning of a big thing. Yeah, it is. It's definitely growing. I've been, so I think you interviewed number 17, Mini Expo, okay. so I'm excited I'm here in town. So I just want to check out some black women-owned businesses, and yours is actually quite fabulous. Thank you. How long have you been here? I've only been here since the first. Ooh. So, so this is a celebration. Yes, it is, because I was mobile initially. Okay. So I decided to gather my clients from being mobile because I didn't want to have the overhead of mm -hmm. a place, and I didn't have clients. So Got I it. started actually July 28th of 2019 mm -hmm. professionally. I did, me and my friends, of course, before that. But professionally, I started July 28th. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I just moved in here on the first. Okay, perfect. So let's go, let's rewind back. <laughs> and first, tell me a little bit about yourself just in general. So, are you from Atlanta? Mm hmm. Okay. Born and raised. I was not born at Grady. Because okay. everybody mostly that's born in Atlanta say they're Grady babies. Oh, okay. So, not me. My dad didn't trust the hospitals. So, he had hired a midwife. So, all three of my sisters and I were born at home. Mm hmm. So, I am born and raised in Atlanta on Cascade, right up the street. Oh, really? Oh, that's very interesting. So your father was very holistic. I wouldn't say he was holistic. My mom was. He was just more afraid of the doctors. He didn't trust them. Okay. He didn't like the system. Yeah. I can feel him. I'm feeling one that one. All right. So tell everybody a little bit about your business. So what's the name of your actual business? It's Spice Chemistry. Mm-hmm. And um, it's vaginal steaming, mm. um, which is very beneficial to me. Um, I think that anything that deals with the wound and the, the vagina, it centers you. Um, mm -hmm. It basically adjusts your attitude, your emotions, the way you deal with situations in life. So when I got my first vaginal steam, I just um, changed my diet a little bit. Okay. But I felt relief. Like I felt like it was a, a big burden mm -hmm. taken off of me. And I was like... This is like I didn't have an attitude. I went in there moody, like, yeah, let me just get this and see what it is. Mm -hmm. But when I left, I felt light. I felt rejuvenated. I felt like I could take on anything and nobody could stop me. Um, and I wanted other people to feel the same thing. Got it. So I started doing them at home. Mm -hmm. And um, my friends and cousins started getting them. And I mm -hmm. was like, I could just. I got laid off. I was a district repair coordinator for Tiss and Crook Elevator. Okay. And I got laid off, and I was like, I don't want to work for corporate. Like, I don't yeah. want to be told you can go on lunch for 30 minutes and come. Mm -hmm. you better come back in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's coming out of your vacation time. I don't want to do that because I'm just, I didn't want to follow the rules. Got it. So I just decided to work on this, and just and I enjoy it. Like, it's so relaxing. It's somewhere, even when I'm not working on off days, mm -hmm. I just come and just chill. Just show this, like, the ambiance of the space and just yeah. in general. No, because I would just chill here, too. I would actually live here <laughs> part-time and leave my house and everything that's attached to it. Because like, even, the, even the smell of just being in here, because yeah. you walk in and it's just so refreshing. And, you know, I love the... I'm giving you guys a view of the whole space because it's really, really cute. So tell us some, about, some more about the health benefits of a vaginal steam. Um, it's, it minimizes menopause symptoms. It minimizes PMS um, symptoms. Um, it's very good for migraines. Um, uh, I have Crohn's disease, okay. so it minimizes that pain. Um, endometriosis. Um, it adds moisture. It tightens it. Um, mm, for all those it other things. It relieves you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It relieves you of any trauma from the past. So if you think about it, a lot of women don't take baths. They Got just it. take showers because mm -hmm. they feel like it's dirty. So nothing is like, they're not giving their vagina time to, I say, marinate or. I know, got you. Just, so um, the steam basically go in there and take out everything. that Toxins from your past, toxins mm -hmm. from what you eat. And it just rejuvenates it. It's like a tea. I look at it like a tea. It's a mixture of herbs. And you can actually use those same herbs in a tea. Oh, okay. However, it's the vaginal tissues are the most absorbent tissues of the body. So really? it actually helps faster. So you can still do that with the tea, the same herbs, mm -hmm. and probably have the same benefits. Okay. But it will take longer. Really? Because I didn't know that the vagina was the most absorbent part of my body. It takes it all in. That's, yeah. 
That makes a lot of sense. Emotions, yeah, trauma, definitely. Why? Yeah. Which is like is a key point for even soothing when you have anxiety. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. I'm all about my vagina, so I'm really excited <laughs> to talk to you about right now. I value it, you know, like definitely. Me do. too. I think it's necessary. So a lot of people don't. They don't realize the importance of it. They don't. It's like it's definitely the center of the universe, especially for black women anyway, because we are the center of the universe and our vagina yeah. doesn't start there. So I definitely do appreciate that thought. So where do you want to do so? So how many clients are you working with on average now? Um, regularly, because yeah. a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of black people just get their vagina steam when they're about to meet a new date. Got it. Or it's Valentine's Day or something so, special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, regularly, probably like 20, 25. Okay. So if you were suggesting for like the whole holistic spiritual aspect and cleansing of your body, what would you suggest that somebody, how often somebody should actually get their vaginal medicine? It depends on what you're trying to do. Okay. So if you have maybe yeast or bacteria, Got it. you would do the steam just as you would the medicine. I understand. It basically works the same way. So you would do it for seven days in a row. Mm -hmm. um, if you're just trying to do a basic rejuvenation, you just want to cleanse the last two weeks out, you do it every two weeks. Got it. Um, Pregnancy, fertility, um, once a week. It depends on what you're going what you're to do. For. Yeah. Okay, it's really interesting. Cause you also mentioned that because I'm big on um, IVF and stuff like that. Somebody's writing a book on it currently. And so do you think of vagina steam for people who are struggling with infertility just in general? Can this actually assist? Because I, know, I noticed you mentioned endometriosis, which is, especially for black women, causes mm -hmm. a lot of infertility issues and concerns mm -hmm. with embryos attaching to the uterus. So would this actually help to some extent or can it support um, it can with support. IVF. Mm -hmm. um, as I tell a lot of people, people come in here, um, this is just like if I decide I'm not going to drink any more sodas, I'm going to drink carrot juice. Got it. But I'm still eating burgers and fries. Mm -hmm. like it's kind of counteracting what it's supposed to be doing. So this will support Got it. Um, fertility. But if you know that you are you can't get pregnant easy and you're still smoking doing all and these other you're things. still doing all the mm -hmm. things, it, the steam is really not going to help you. Because so you have to add it to it, so it can be yeah. an additive to the process, but Which you still need to do the other doing, things. Yeah. Okay, that makes fully sense. So, where do you see yourself going in five years? Um, Africa or DR. Really? Yeah. I want. I'm so. I don't know if I can say this on here, but I am sick of this joke that they are playing me to be mm -hmm. and us mm -hmm. as a whole. I was looking at the election or whatever, and I was just yeah. like, really. Mm -hmm. Like, let me just move around right quick. And so in five years, that's my exact number. I give myself five years to be ready to move either to Africa or the DR. They don't have Yoni steamers there. Um, mm -hmm. They don't have as much money to splurge on, but I feel like I just, I want to do it worldwide. Got it. I want to bring women peace because we are the backbone. So mm -hmm. if we're not peaceful and we got all this stuff mm -hmm. going on, we mm -hmm. just accept that anything mm -hmm. from whoever and whatever, the world is not going to be the same. It's no. not the same now. No, it surely isn't. And I think it's because women have lost their backbone. And it's social media and a lot of that. So in five years, I hope that I can travel. Travel and, the world and, and just go out here and make everybody vagina better. the world better. and vagina in Africa. You know, DR. Yeah, I might need a little bit. Yeah. No, I don't know about that. It sounds all definitely cool. Like something else I would want to do. I like travel the world too. Travel is like everything to it be is. out. Yeah, black or everything's going to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like for now, I'm in Atlanta now. <laughs> official, official, my first city. It's but I love Atlanta. It's one of my favorite places to be ever since I was a kid. So I was happy to come out here and happy to interview you. Thank you. All right. So how can people find you? So I know a lot of my network is in New York, but a lot of people come down to Atlanta all the time. The flight is actually really inexpensive right now, guys. So you can come through. So tell people how to find you. You can find me on Instagram. Um, it's at spiced underscore chemistry. And the chemistry is K-I-M-I-S-T-R-Y. Um, my address is 196 Peachtree Street, mm. Southwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30303. Oh, and on Wednesdays, this is Woman Crush Wednesdays. It's $45. So we bring your crushes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, that's yeah. popping, that's popping. Because you also have your website, too. Mm -hmm. All right, great. My website, www.spicechemistry.com. You guys got to check it out. You guys got to come check out the ambiance of this space. So that's I have my lovely people here today. So sorry, my recording people here. I'm going to pick you guys up so you can look, take a quick look at the view of the space, all the ambiance. That's Butch down there, by the way, guys. He's kind of cool. 
and we have this whole lovely space. So we have the lovely Vanessa Moore, because you guys know I do everything with Vanessa Moore. And then over here, we have the lovely Destiny Brown, who's getting a little glare. They're actually going to take on this experience today, which I'm excited about, because then we're going to ask them all about it when they're done. Yes. <laughs> they didn't know that part was happening. All right. So until next time. See you.